hey, so we've got our new account. We want to start using it. A couple little things you're going to want to change right when you get logged in. Head over to the admin tab. Go to the settings screen. We're going to work on this interface a little bit, but for now you'll see some of the default settings right here. And all you do is type the name of the setting and the new value if you want to change them. I'll explain a couple things here real quick. First, the company logo. This is going to be a PNG file that exists on the web. The easiest way to do this, drop the file in Dropbox, public, right click, Dropbox, copy public link, and now you've got a logo URL here you can paste right in. The name of the setting is going to be this guy, URL, and when we save that, the new value is there. It's going to put the new value at the bottom there, and if we go over to an invoice and look at a PDF, we're going to see that setting take effect right away. I'll pull one up. Cool, there it is. That's how it should work. So back on the admin settings. One of the ones that may need some explanation here is the inbound email. There isn't actually a setting for that, but what you need to do is take your ticket reply email, which you'll see here, and set it to something at your domain that you are able to forward to our ticket system. You forward the email to this address and then the two-way email is going to work. When customers reply to the ticket updates, they'll get back into the ticket system. So that means you need to change your ticket reply email. Let's change ours to geeks at geeksquad.com. We are going to change our local tax rate. Just copy that key here. Our local tax rate is 25%. So that's in like whole large numbers. You see there's not 0.25, just 25. That represents 25%. And the system will do the rest on the back end. Um, account admin notify email. This is going to be um, for certain types of notifications that come out of the system. We'll say alerts at geeksquad.com hidden comment email this is to notify your team um, when there's been a comment on a ticket from a customer or when you put a hidden comment on a ticket so this should be like internal email at geeksquad.com or maybe we have something like customer alerts you know, that'll just go to our staff here. Parts email. Let's say you have someone in charge of doing the parts ordering. That might be um, some supervisor. Visor at geeksquad.com. So that's the person that needs to get the emails for the parts orders. So when someone goes and enters a new part order, they get notified they've got a part they need to go purchase. Ticket tech reminder email. These will go out um, when techs need to be reminded of an email of a when they need to get reminded of things that are maybe getting stale stuff like that. So that could be the same as the um, like customer alerts maybe that we used before, or this could go to a supervisor that needs to you know go check on people. Remind to diagnose daily. So if you've got jobs in there that haven't had the diagnostic done, this will email the techs daily. You can say hourly if you want. Those can just be true false. See the format for the time zone is kind of funky for the local time zone. Let's change ourselves to how about Guadalajara. So you don't copy the whole thing, just the name here. So that's going to get copied into here. And what is it? Local time zone. That's all you do to change the time zone of the app. We'll improve this interface, but for now it works. Local code. 
that's going to do currency symbols and stuff like that. We've got a bunch of the defaults that um, we found in a library online, but um, English Great Britain, English US, Great Britain can use their currency symbol, US will use the US dollar symbol. Those get changed like so. Locale code, the new code. That's it. What else should we update here? That looks like it. Now that we've got these settings in, when we start sending emails, they'll come from the right alias. Um, the coupons can go out from the right alias. All that stuff's going to happen all automatically. That's it for the basics. I'll end the video here, and we'll get into more details on the other sections in another video. Have fun.